Boys and girls, it's time to gather around because today we're gonna talk about family. That's right, family. Now it's no secret, I love my family and it keeps growing and growing and we love it. One of the things that is really cool about being a family is spending time together. And it looks a lot different for each family, but the bottom line is we enjoy being together because we have so much in common. So family time is really important. And then, I don't know about your family, but our family loves being silly. And a lot of times this looks different for each family too. But it's good to be able to be a little bit goofy with the people who love you and just to be yourself. I tell you what, nothing like it at all. And then sometimes it's really good to be with family because you are loved and we all need to be loved. And sometimes we just need to get that big old hug from mom or dad or grandpa and grandma. And it is good for us. But here's another thing I've learned. Every one of us are physically born but a lot of us are not raised in the family where we were physically born in. Some of us are adopted, and that's a beautiful story, and it really leads me to where I wanna to share today from the Word of God. So if you have your Bibles, would you open them to Mark 3, and we're gonna read verses 34 through 35 for you now. And remember, as always, this is the Word of God. And looking about as those who sat around him, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of God, he is my brother and sister and mother. Boys and girls, did you see what the word of God said? Jesus said those who are in his family, and he's talking about a spiritual family, are those who do the will of God. But that brings up a good question. What is the will of God? Well, I have a couple suggestions for you. One, it is to hear the word of God and obey it. And I've learned this over time. We obey the word of God not to be loved and accepted, but because we already are loved and accepted. And then there's a couple things I know we can do for sure. One, we can make disciples. That means we walk alongside other believers and we share what we're learning about the Word of God. We pray together and we encourage one another and it's a beautiful thing. And then lastly, we want to share the hope we have with Jesus Christ with other boys and girls of all ages. Believe it or not, there are boys and girls all around the world who still don't know who Jesus Christ is. So let's be faithful in letting the world know who he is so that one day as a family, a spiritual family, we will worship him forever and ever. And then until next time, bye-bye.